just to follow up with the mail merge you could do a lot of things other than just letters so now I'm going to show you how to create certificates from MS Word and then get the data from Excel so you should have your certificate ready in MS Word so just use the MS Word's feature to insert pictures maybe a digital signature if needed format your certificate and now we have here first name last name and then what course should be placed here now just to recap the first thing you have to do is close your Excel file and then get ready to do the mail merge by going to mailings and I hope you still remember that it's all grayed out because there's no MS Excel worksheet yet connected to our file so we're going to connect the Excel file by going to select recipients use an existing list look for the file that you will connect decide if you need to identify a different worksheet check this one especially if the first row contains the column headers because if not then you'll get column letters in the drop down later here so instead of having the header names you'll get column letters instead so now we're ready to bring in our fields so for example here we'll bring in the first name space last name and then this one will replace it with the course name course completed now since this is a certificate chances are you need to format it so in mail merge you have to format things while they are in field mode so let's say I want this one bold I want to increase the font size maybe use a different color and then again before you complete the mail merge because once you click finish it doesn't uh, you cannot go back here anymore so you have to click preview first and then see if everything is looking okay so looks okay and now you can finish decide if you want to print directly or edit individual I'll go for edit click OK and that should give us a document here with all the certificates that we need to print so that's what mail merge can do you can create report cards you can create identification cards you can create pay slips notices individual memos so anything at all wherein the data is coming from a worksheet and then transfer them to Excel you can use mail merge feature for that